Once upon a time, in the ancient kingdom of Benin, there stood a magnificent wall that stretched for miles. The Great Wall of Benin was a testament to the engineering skills and artistic prowess of the people of Benin. The wall was made of earth, with a width of about 20 feet and a height of over 40 feet in some places. It was fortified with wooden planks and moats filled with water to deter invaders. The wall was not just a defensive structure but also a symbol of the power and glory of the Benin Kingdom. Beyond the wall lay the city of Benin, a bustling metropolis filled with people and culture. The people of Benin were known for their exquisite bronze and ivory sculptures, which adorned the palace of the Oba, their king. The Benin Kingdom was a wealthy and prosperous nation, thanks to its thriving trade in ivory, palm oil, and other goods. Its rulers, the Obas, were powerful and influential, and the kingdom was renowned throughout Africa and beyond. But the glory of the Great Wall and the beauty of the Benin artifacts caught the attention of the British, who sought to colonize the kingdom and exploit its resources. In 1897, a British force led by General James Phillips invaded Benin City, burning and looting everything in sight. The British soldiers set fire to the royal palace and destroyed many of the priceless artifacts that adorned it. They stole the bronze and ivory sculptures and took them back to England as spoils of war. The Great Wall of Benin was also damaged during the invasion, with many sections of the wall destroyed or dismantled. The Benin Kingdom was left in ruins, and the people were left to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. Today, the remnants of the Great Wall of Benin still stand, a reminder of the kingdom's former glory. Many of the artifacts stolen by the British have been returned to Nigeria, but some remain in museums and private collections around the world. The story of the Great Wall of Benin and its artifacts is a reminder of the destructive nature of colonialism and the need to preserve the cultural heritage of nations around the world.